no one really likes petrol gear if they're going to be honest Alrighty then welcome back and thanks for checking in with me nathan here at lewis garden services that was quick did you understand that uh i'm off to cut a hedge now for three years i've been using battery gear and i absolutely love the battery gear for all the reasons i'm going to refind out today now i'm using petrol to trim and i say trim because i do use petrol gear when it's not just trimming when it's heavy reductions and real heavy work but if i'm trimming something especially conifer trims i love the still hla 66 i'm sure there's other ones out there that are just as good but for me the light the quiet the balance everything makes the job so much easier but the 66 that i've got the blades are a little bit bollocks shall i say and i'm just gonna go and do a job and use a sharp echo petrol hedge trimmer and it's the first time i've trimmed a hedge with a petrol hedge trimmer for three years I've done heavy trimming, like I'm saying, with petrol stuff, but for just trimming, I'm gonna go and use the Echo petrol one and nothing else. And I'm doing it because I just spent 500 pound on a new still HLA 66 and a AP300S to get me into the autumn winter trims. A lot of people moan about trimming conifers in the winter they should be done by a certain time we trim them all the way through the winter they've never been harmed it's just when the hedge work comes in i keep busy all winter by saying to customers well don't trim your hedge now get it done late in the year we can do it cheaper and i'm not saying cheaper is it cheaper no it's not cheaper I can get it done at a reasonable rate, shall we say, at the standard rate. Whereas if you want it done in the summer, then I'd probably charge extra because it's going to be in the way. It's going to be a pain over the maintenance. So it's not cheaper. Does that make sense? Anyway, I'd probably tell them it's cheaper. Uh, yeah, so I forgot where I was saying, where I was going, but I'm off to use a petrol machine once I've had a coffee. Right, thanks for checking in and uh, cheers. This is us, me. I'm on my own today, for whatever reason, trimming a hedge. Right, I'm about 20 minutes in and don't be too judgy on the workmanship. We are just in once a year just to bash over this uh, kind of hedge for the old fella living here. And I can already feel the difference in the weight. It's not much heavier. That's the echo. If I was using the still four mix long reach hedge trimmer, I'd be hating it by now because it's just so much louder and heavier. Uh, that's not too bad at the minute. I can definitely feel the old fingers tingling now after I've stopped after 20 minutes. And um, yeah, obviously it's noisier. Uh, just going to get this bit done next. I would still prefer to be using the battery gear, in fairness. Yeah, I can definitely feel the finger tingle going on now. Now I've stopped for two minutes at least. Right, let's crack on. Right, so I've had that hedge trimmer running for about an hour and I've only put it down to talk to the customer for a minute and move the steps and what do you mean I'm in fairly good nick for my age not to blow my own trumpet but um, yeah I can feel it in my shoulders though and the last five minutes I could feel it in my wrists with the battery gear I would be all right now I'm on my own today so I'll have half hour clearing up and I could go and do another one of these jobs probably exactly the same size hour couple of hours and I'd probably be all right. Would I want to do a third one with petrol gear? No. 
if I had a battery gear, I'd be right to carry on. And that's the difference. The battery gear, I'm not gonna lie, is slower. The petrol gear, obviously, it's got more oomph, it's faster, but it reduces your workload that you can get through because it fatigues you more. And that's the point. That's the bottom line to this with battery gear is you can put a battery hedge trimmer down on one job, pick it up on another job and not be totally knackered. Now in November, I can probably run a hedge trimmer five, six hours a day, four, five days a week. And if there's two or three of us out working, I don't do anything else other than trim hedges. The boys are behind collecting up and bagging stuff up and blowing behind me. I'll just trim and trim and trim. A couple of years ago, I came here. I had elbow supports on, wrist supports on because I was falling apart. Battery gear has taken that mostly away. I still feel it. I can feel it now. Do you mean the back of your shoulders, the wrists? I can feel it after an hour. So if I was going to use a petrol hedge trimmer for three, four days in a row that turned into three or four weeks in a row, you would feel it. Now, when I was younger, I know a lot of people would say, oh, petrol gear is better. And it's fine. When I was younger, like I was going to say, I would do exactly the same things I'm doing with battery gear now, but with petrol gear. And I could swing one around all day, every day, bash through jobs. But let me tell you, if you've been in the game four or five years, eight or 10 years, that's fine. You'll survive it. Once you've been doing it 20, 30 years, you will feel it. Let me tell you. You've got to think your longevity when, you, when you're in this game, really, with everything you're using. So if you're not a fan of battery gear, that's fine. Personally, I hate the uh, petrol hedge trimmers. They're good for the heavy work, but for trimming, everyday trimming, no, not for me. All right, there we have it. A couple of hours in there and all done. So it might be a bold or stupid statement, but I really do hate petrol hedge trimmers and I would give up 50%, 80% of my winter autumn hedge work if I had to use them all the time. I don't like anything about them. All I can taste now is two stroke fumes and I've known from previous experience when I've used a petrol gear all day I will go home and I will stink of two stroke fumes. What that does to you over 25, 30 years, I wouldn't like to imagine. I'm sure there's lots of you who will disagree with me and that's fine. We've all got our own opinions on how we work and what we want to do and how we get along. Like anything else in life, it's difficult to get across an idea or a thought on something unless you've experienced it. So you may come around to this thinking in years to come if everything carries on, if the planet's still around and there's still hedges to cut and hedge trimmers to use, who knows, we might be using lightsabers. <laughs> Something to bear in mind, if you are keen on the petrol gear and if you are young and just throwing them around, is that we've all got to make a living. That's fine, we're all out there to make a money, but sacrificing your health to get wealth is one thing, but when you get older, you'll then be sacrificing your wealth to try and get your health back. And there's a quote by the Dalai Lama along those similar lines, a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine actually, keeps it on top of his desk wherever he is and looks at it now and again and, it, and it's really appropriate so have a little look at it I can't tell you word for word but yeah I hate petrol hedge trimmers and strimmers if I was going to be uh, on the on the ball with it but yeah nothing about them I like at all let me know in the comments what you think about it all am I just waffling on because I am waffling on now but yeah no one really likes petrol gear if they're going to be honest right Thanks for checking in. I will see you all later. Give us a like and all that nonsense. Cheers.